Hello everyone, my name is Maggie and welcome to Maggie Really Reads. Today I want to give you recommendations. I can really sound so weird. Like, what is it? Who am I? But I sound so, so strange. I haven't spoken, like, not like I haven't spoken, but I haven't like been in front of the camera in like a week. I've been sick, whatever, doesn't matter. Today I'm going to recommend books that have mental representation in them books that I feel like they did the mental illness through very well. I am someone that does have or suffers or whichever way you want to call it, have suffer, um, I don't know, depending. Some people say they have it, some people say they suffer from it. I have mental illness and I'm not ashamed to say that I have depression and anxiety and that's just how life is. Those are the cards that I was dealt with. So yeah, I have a few books. They have PTSD, depression, anxiety, OCD, and suicide, and I want to say depressive tendencies, but depression. Um, a first book that I do want to recommend is Medicine Man by Saffron A. Kent. This is a forbidden romance. It is between a psychiatrist and a patient. Now, let me explain. I know it doesn't sound like a book that you want to read, but let me tell y'all. The mental health in this book was done, I don't want to say accurately, but done so well. I was like, mm, that's kind of how, I, you know, sometimes when you can't really describe things, but when you read it, you're like, okay, that's exactly how I feel. This book has depression and suicide. We have this girl named Willow. She is just this i don't want to say unreliable source she is a good girl sort of but she's so misunderstood she feels misunderstood you can tell um by her family but just the way she expresses herself sometimes that she doesn't know who she is i know people will think that like um the hero because he's a doctor he's a psychiatrist is taking advantage of willow but it really isn't like that they have this sort of understanding they see each other for who the other person is and when you have the world that doesn't really understand you and you find out someone that understands you it's a different feeling i loved the dynamic i loved how they sort of worked through things and i liked how the author just kind of wrapped up the book um, I like that it wasn't really like done quickly, like the epilogue wasn't done quickly. Like everything made sense, everything made sense for the couple and for the hero and the heroine individually. It was just a really great book. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you like Forbidden. If you don't like Forbidden, stay away from this book. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. Next book is Whispers and the Roars of by K. Webster one of my all-time favorite k-webster books this book has mental illness like i was saying that is not really touched upon it is an extremely hard illness to not only diagnose not actually you can diagnose it very easily it's just very hard to treat it um i know a lot about psychology i studied it for three years so i kind of know what it is that i'm talking about when i talk about these illnesses um it's a surprise, I'm not going to tell you what the illness is, but it's just like a second chance romance and like, guys, it is literally perfection. Like, I have never read a book where I'm like, wait, what? What just happened? Like, I don't know what K. Webster was smoking when she was reading, when she was making this book, but like this book is done so well um yeah, this book is amazing it's just like what the hero does um for the heroine it is just like wow all this time because i've known each other for a long time it's also like a childhood based of friends um it is just like this wild intriguing beautiful book and i'm just like this book literally needs to be more hyped this is a book that i feel like needs to be hyped it is beautiful second chance for romance that's all i'm going to say go in without knowing anything you think you know but you don't know you don't know nothing 
<laughs> this book is amazing give it five stars and then i have in his possession by b love this is a mafia romance it was the first book in the uh black black mafia series i think um it is a black romance that sounds weird saying that like black romance it's a romance the illness in this book is ptsd and ocd as well um the hero suffers from ocd and he has ocd which whichever whichever way you want to say it suffers has is is is, is going through it is uh, defeating it i don't i don't know people have different ways of explaining or saying whatever the illness is that's okay do whatever makes you happy but this book the heroine is i want to say kidnapped but she's not she's held captive but not really like if she leaves the guy that she's kind of in a relationship she's forced to be in a relationship with him if she leaves him she's gonna kill her so it's like she's kind of forced to be in a relationship with him and then the hero comes and he saves her he has this new powerful mafia man and he has built just like this organization and he's just like oh, he's so beautiful and kind and understanding the communication is on another level he does suffer from ocd um his mother as well we see that also with his mother um check out the trigger warnings there's a lot of substance abuse um violence um sexual assault um but you do not have to read it um the author listed known like you can skip certain types of chapters like she'll write it down in the i think the glossary or something or the content page and yeah just read that if it's not something that you want to read or like obviously if you don't want to read you don't want to read this so you don't have to but it won't take away from the story it just adds on to it if you want to say that um love this romance i do feel like it didn't have a lot of the mafia is aspect to it so i think i gave it four stars i think i changed it i made it four stars but it's still so beautiful just like wow mental illness in here was amazing two characters that were suffering and they just found each other and they just had to work through it um so yeah oh i didn't mention the heroine has a ptsd so that's her mental illness and then the next book i want to recommend is waking olivia by elizabeth o'rourke this book is amazing so if you've heard about this book and you've been doubting this book is amazing we have this girl olivia she is suffering she has or she is like a sleep runner um so that is her mental illness even though like sleep running sleep walking is not a mental illness it is a sleep disorder but the sleep disorder does lead to certain types of mental illness such as anxiety depression which she sort of has um especially the anxiety i feel like it was really done well but if you didn't notice it's there if you didn't notice that that's great if you did notice that's also great but loved this book it is also forbidden i'm a forbidden girl like i love forbidden romances age gap forbidden <laughs> that's just my vibe um it is a coach student she's like 21 he is 24 so there's not a really big age gap there um she is going she's in this new school the coach doesn't like her he's just like she's kind of like a fluke or she brings like trouble and i just love them i love their banter i love just the, like their dynamic they just like make me laugh because they're always like bickering and just it's amazing i love how the hero is always there for her and he just helps her through it and it's great i love this romance great mental health presentation here and then i have the mafia and his angel by lala james this is a mafia romance um the heroine is in a very abusive marriage she is married to this guy and one day well it starts off with her running away from him and she gets into the hero's car to kind of hide away and not knowing that it's her husband's rival mafia 
family and she goes into his house and obviously she gets caught and then she has to work as like i don't want to say maid i don't know what word to say like um a cleaner she cleans the house and she cooks um but she is suffering from ptsd um she does have suicidal tendencies or she does try to commit suicide at some a couple of times actually it's pretty similar to um ghost by Aza Varelli. those books are pretty similar i feel like this book does it better um because in the is a really book like the heroine has it for like half of the book and then when she's in love with the hero she doesn't have it anymore which it doesn't work like that <laughs> if it did work like that everybody would be happy it would all be singing to birds but that's not how it is um loved this book i gave it 4.5 stars it is very emotional highly highly recommend this book if you haven't read it it is mafia all the books are out so do check it out if you haven't already and you're looking for a good mafia series it is action-packed the hero is grumpy and just like touch when you die dirty touch when you die um high stakes as well because she's married to his enemy and he doesn't know that and she's lying about who she is so drama and i love drama in books next book i want to recommend is no tomorrow by karen cole this book has been making its rounds to book two and i'm very excited with this book i think a year ago loved it um it is very emotional very frustrating at times um it does have a mental health representation here the heroine is suffering from depression and other things check the triggers um for this book and then yeah like the hero and the hero when they meet he is a musician he was also homeless and it's their relationship through like literally almost the entire life and it's just ups and downs and it's almost like a love little whiskey kind of like um what's this book i look the words by a date um where they're together um but they're not together and then like it's just a mess the relationship was a mess um i do recommend this book for mental health the romance wasn't my favorite but it does deal with mental health and it does represent it very well i think um also the heroine she does some not so smart things because she doesn't know and it's okay to not know but it's an interesting way to see someone who knows absolutely nothing about mental health or doesn't know what signs to see from someone or is naive or just like i don't want to say it that way but just does not really know what signs to look for and then you have someone who you can obviously see suffering from something and his behavior is not normal um or what you consider to be normal and yeah i think it was just an interesting way to see a romance with just two completely different people and yeah like it's just like smart i think it's a smart book but it's just like what the fuck is going on um but i really enjoyed this book as well i gave it a four stars i think um yeah that's all i have for this video let me know if you want me to do a part two i'll be happy to do it i have so much more books to do um let me know what your favorite book is hopefully i haven't read it so i can add it to my tbr and i can read it thank you all so so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you all next time